I was 14 when my father died in a car accident. My mama was devastated, but in less than a year, she brought home that piece of shit. Everything started in three days when he asked me, when he forced me really, to actually suck his dick. Just coming home from high school, come home and I see our stepdad raping my, my little brother. I got a frying pan and just walloped him across the head and he just went out. I grabbed my little brother, took some things and we ran out of there. We just ran and ran and ran until someone picked us up and we got the hell out of there. Never returned. Never returned. My mother was a childminder until she got really sick with cancer. My father was a factory worker. Alcoholic. I'm not an alcoholic like him. I just like drinking. He used to beat the shit out of my mother. And I used to hide in my room so that I wouldn't hear the screaming. I used to run away to bars since I was 13 and I'd sleep with anyone who would buy me a drink. That's how it all started. <laughs> oh my god, I was dating this guy when I was 18. His name was Cotton. We had an amazing relationship. He was my first. Uh, yeah, where we were seeing each other every day. We decided to get married one day. Yeah, and uh, we even got a marriage certificate from the city hall. Oh, he was such, such a great guy, Cotton. At one point, he started uh, not showing up that often, and uh, one day he just disappeared. I found out he moved into South. I was feeling shocked. I, I felt I needed to change my life. I always keep that marriage certificate with me, wherever I go. In my teens, I was living in uh, an, an environment where my mother and father were uh, fighting. My father was abusing my mom, so I had to drink a little bit and then stop him in order to finish the scene. From then, I started drinking. Hola, soy Carla, soy colombiana. Uh, when I was uh, 15, I met Juan, lo más guapo chico. Uh, very beautiful, he had a red car back in Colombia, we were going everywhere. It was my boyfriend, uh, my mother didn't like him, he was a scum and he was lived in the favelas. Anyway, I got pregnant, my mom wanted to kill me and uh, she wanted me to have an abortion and I didn't do it. So I'm in New York and my mom and my son is in La Jose, uh, in California. You know, you're belonging to a band, <laughs> the Devil's Angels. How we were rad. It was me, my girlfriend, and my best friend. How we were starting to get big. We were gonna be huge. Till one day I came home and caught the two together. And I put him in the hospital. Never been back to see him since. One of these days I'm gonna start a new band. And this time we're gonna be even bigger. My mom passed away, you know, when I was 13. And I did, it seems that, you know, at the age of 13, I'm on heroin, you know. I mean, since the age of 18, you know, I'm walking around the streets, you know, all by myself. And I get scared, you know, because in the dark, you know, all these black cats, you know, they're just coming towards me. They start punching at me one day, you know, and what I want, just a couple of friends, you know, a couple of fighters, you know, just a couple of people to protect me. I'm stuck in this place for 15 years and all because of my gambling addiction. I almost lost everything. And now I have to put up with all these junkies and hoes. No customers, always the same faces, the same fights, always debts. What kind of this place is? Is it a rehab or is it a madhouse in hell? How pathetic. So, uh, I was eight the first time my father touched me. It was the first of many. I, I left shortly after that and I've been on the street ever since. I was brought up in Brooklyn Heights, New York, um, back in the 1950s. My parents were very poor. I mean, sometimes we didn't have anything to eat. Uh, I used to love my dad. My dad was a favorite. When he passed away, I was 10 years old. My whole world collapsed. My, dad, my mom got remarried to Cliff. He was a terrible guy. He used to beat her up and me as well. One day I couldn't just take it. So I left home and I started wandering around on the streets. Then I met Julie and she introduced me to prostitutions. 
Ever since, I live in the streets and I try to make my living the way I do today. Hey, what are you? Some kind of cop or something? Hell, I was always gonna be in a boy's home, you know? I was always going to escape a boy's home. Come on, what do you expect from me? But you know, one day we go to like a zoo or something, the little ones ain't looking, the parents ain't looking, goddamn, the oldest one even looking. I just ran, I see the lights in Manhattan, I just ran. I didn't even look back. Faster than the Greyhound bus too, you know? Hey, come on. He left me. He left me here with this place. And where else did I have to go? What was I gonna do? So I'm here with the bums, the prostitutes, and the whores. And that's it. So I gotta make a go this place. I can't go back to my family and say, well, I've made a, a lovely, gorgeous cafe for you to come to. So that's where I'm at, here with the bums.